Chapter on the statement of Allah to one whom I have created with both my hands. Quran, chapter 38, verse 75. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah will gather the believers on the day of resurrection in the same way as they are gathered in this life. And they will say, let us ask someone to intercede for us with our Lord that he may relieve us from this place of ours. Then they will go to Adam and say, O Adam, don't you see the people, that is, their condition? Allah created you with his own hands and ordered his angels to prostrate before you and taught you the names of all the things. Please intercede for us with our Lord so that he may relieve us from this place of ours. Adam will say, I am not fit for this undertaking, and he will mention to them the mistakes he had committed, and add, But you'd better go to Nuh, Noah, as he was the first messenger sent by Allah to the people of the earth. They will go to Nuh, Noah, who will reply, I am not fit for this undertaking, and he will mention the mistake which he made, and add, But you'd better go to Ibrahim, Abraham. Khalil al-Rahman. They will go to Prophet Ibrahim, who will reply, I am not fit for this undertaking. And he will mention to them the mistakes he made, and add, But you'd better go to Prophet Musa, Moses, a slave of Allah, whom Allah gave the Tawrat, Torah, and to whom he spoke directly. They will go to Prophet Musa, who will reply, I am not fit for this undertaking. And he will mention to them the mistakes he made and add, You'd better go to Prophet Isa, Jesus, Allah's slave and his messenger and his word, be, and he was, and a soul created by him. They will go to Prophet Isa who will say, I am not fit for this undertaking, but you'd better go to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, whose sins of the past and the future had been forgiven by Allah. So they will come to me and I will ask the permission of my Lord, Allah, and I will be permitted to present myself before him. When I see my Lord, I will fall down in prostration before him, and he will leave me in prostration as long as he wishes. And then it will be said to me, O Muhammad, raise your head and speak, for you will be listened to, and ask, for you will be granted your request and intercede, for your intercession will be accepted. I will then raise my head and praise my Lord with certain praises which he has taught me. And then I will intercede. Allah will allow me to intercede for a certain kind of people, and will fix a limit whom I will admit into paradise. I will come back again, and when I see my Lord again, I will fall down in prostration before him and he will leave me in prostration as long as he wishes. And then he will say, O Muhammad, raise your head and speak, for you will be listened to, and ask, for you will be granted your request, and intercede, for your intercession will be accepted. I will then praise my Lord with certain praises which he has taught me, and then I will intercede. Allah will allow me to intercede for a certain kind of people, and will fix a limit to whom I will admit into paradise. I will return again, and when I see my Lord, I will fall down in prostration, and he will leave me in prostration as long as he wishes. And then he will say, O Muhammad, raise your head and speak, for you will be listened to, and ask, for you will be granted your request, and intercede, for your intercession will be accepted. I will then praise my Lord with certain praises which he has taught me and then I will intercede. Allah will allow me to intercede for a certain kind of people, and will fix a limit, to whom I will admit into paradise. I will come back and say, O oh my Lord, none remains in hell, fire, but those whom the Qur'an has imprisoned therein, and for whom eternity in hell, fire, has become inevitable. The Prophet, peace be upon him, added, There will come out of hell, fire, Everyone who says, La ilaha illallah, 
None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and has in his heart good equal to the weight of a barley grain. Then there will come out of hell, fire, everyone who says, La ilaha illallah. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and has in his heart good equal to the weight of a wheat grain. Then there will come out of hell, fire, everyone who says, La ilaha illallah. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and has in his heart good equal to the weight of an atom, the smallest ant. Footnote Khalil, the one whose love is mixed with one's heart, and it is superior to a friend or beloved. The Prophet, peace be upon him, had only one Khalil, that is, Allah, but he had many friends. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Allah's hand is full, and its fullness is not affected by the continuous spending, day and night. He also said, Do you see what he has spent since he created the heavens and the earth? Yet all of that has not decreased what is in his hand. He, peace be upon him, also said, his throne is over the water, and in his other hand is the balance of justice, and he raises and lowers whomever he wills. See Hadith 4684, Volume 6. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, On the day of resurrection, Allah will grasp the whole planet of earth by his hand and all the heavens in his right, and then he will say, I am the king. Abu Huraira said, Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, Allah will grasp the planet earth. Narrated Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. A Jew came to the Prophet peace be upon him and said, O Muhammad, Allah will hold the heavens on a finger, and the mountains on a finger, and the trees on a finger and all the creation on a finger, and then he will say, I am the king. On that, Allah's messenger peace be upon him smiled, till his premolar teeth became visible, and then recited, They made not a just estimate of Allah such as is due to him. Quran chapter 39 verse 67 Abdullah added, Allah's messenger peace be upon him smiled, at the Jews' statement, expressing his wonder and belief in what was said. Narrated Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. A man from the people of the scripture came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Abu Qasim, Allah will hold the heavens upon a finger, and the earth on a finger, and the land on a finger, and all the creation on a finger, and will say, I am the king, I am the king. I saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, after hearing that, smiling till his premolar teeth became visible, and he then recited, They made not a just estimate of Allah, such as is due to him. Quran, chapter 39, verse 67.